Hi, I'm Andrew Fazekas, the Night Sky Guy, here to tell you about this mysterious meteor shower that will be peaking this week. We'll talk about what it is, when it's happening, and how you can actually see it for yourself. Astronomers just announced that there is a chance for a meteor outburst of amazing proportions that could occur this week in our skies. And so this is called the Alpha Monocerotids. Now you probably haven't heard about it. I haven't, that's for sure. It's a shower that's been dormant for many years. And in the past century, there's only been four times that there has been a visibility of this shower from 1925, 35, 1985, and the last one occurring in 1995. And that's when the current forecasters of this year's outburst first saw it back in 1995. And they said that it was like the stars were raining and there were upwards of five shooting stars every minute visible for a very short time. And they were talking less than an hour in, in terms of this outburst. So they're predicting through computer models that Earth is going to be entering a cloud of debris from a mysterious yet to be discovered comet this year, just as it had in the previous four times that there were different outbursts over the past century. And Earth will be going through this meteor stream that is left behind shed by a comet. As comets get close to the sun, they begin to shed material and that material is deposited behind the comet in a cloud. And over time, this cloud stretches out into what we call a meteor stream. And Earth slams into this meteor stream very occasionally. And this year in 2019, on November 21st at 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time, we feel that there'll be another opportunity to see another outburst of the alpha monocerotids uh, that would equal about five to seven shooting stars per minute in a very short course of time, maybe as short as 30 minutes or maybe even 15 minutes where we see this amazing outburst. Now, the name, the monocerotids, just like other meteor showers, it gets its name from the constellation where they appear to radiate out from. And in this case, it's the Monoceros constellation, which is the unicorn constellation. And it's very faint, it's very hard to see, but it is next door to a very bright star uh, based constellation called Canis Minor, the little dog. And its main star called Procyon is one of the brightest stars in the sky and is easy to see after nightfall as darkness falls and we go into late night, especially in the Northern Hemisphere, uh, around midnight, it is climbing up in the Eastern part of the sky. So to actually see this outburst, it's recommended that you face towards the Eastern part of the sky, go out about an hour before the predicted uh, peak of this shower, which is centered on 11.50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on November 21st. That's equal to 4.50 uh, a.m. Universal Time or Greenwich Mean Time on November 22nd. So those of you that are in Western Europe, Northwestern Africa, all of South America, Central America, and the East Coast of North America, you have the best chance of seeing this shower. It could be a very short window. So suggestions are is go out an hour before, so around 10.30, 10.50 p.m. Eastern time, hunker down, get, get, find a place where you get a clear view of the eastern sky and the, and the overhead sky as well. Get comfortable and warm. Make sure that you don't get a crink in your neck. So try to find maybe a lawn chair, a reclining chair, or, or a blanket that you can lie down on and watch towards the eastern sky. And there should be a ramp up, a very sudden, increase in meteors that will be visible centered on 11.50 p.m. Eastern Time. And the rates could shoot up to uh, upwards of 400 to 600 shooting stars per hour. But remember, 
that that peak may only last, that activity peak, for as short as 15 minutes or it could be as long as 45 minutes to an hour according to the researchers that made this prediction. So uh, this is all associated with this unknown comet that has shed the, all this material. Most of this material are, is nothing more than uh, the size of a, a grain of sand that hits the atmosphere at incredibly high speeds and that's what produces the shooting star, just like with other meteor showers, like the Perseids in August and the Geminids in December. And this alpha monoceroted meteor shower is really uh, an unknown. We are not sure how deep Earth will be plowing through into the meteor stream associated with this unknown comet. We could be going through the center, the densest part, or we could be skirting along the edge of the meteor stream. We're not quite sure. The, the forecast models that are, are used using uh, computers are not specific enough at this point yet, knowing exactly where Earth will be entering this meteor stream. Now, stay tuned for your weather forecast to make sure that you do have clear skies where you are. And if you don't, if you get clouded out or you're on the wrong side of the world, you can still join in on the fun and watch to see if something does happen if we do get a meteor outburst, thanks to a webcast online from my friends at virtualtelescope.eu. I'll have a link to those guys below here so that you can check them out. Hopefully we'll see something. It won't be a, a real unicorn like the constellation that it comes from that is just of legend, but it's actually real reality. Make sure you count how many shooting stars you'll see. Uh, maybe you'll see a handful. Maybe we won't see anything. Maybe we might see an epic show. The only way to find out is to go outside and look up. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my next video. Thanks so much for, for tuning in. Clear skies.